Uh, hey, look who's coming in. It's uh, Guy Geyerson. You love talking sports. He loves talking sports. It's the Sports Editorial with Guy Geyerson. Play ball! Geyerson's the name. Talking sports is the game. Let's hit the links. I don't mind if people want to sing praises for John Crook, but by God, when will Philadelphia give credit to his right-handed doppelganger, Mr. Pete Incavilia? With a shoulder frame of Kate Hudson that carried a weight more comparable to Walter Hudson, Incavilia nevertheless hit 24 dingers in the Phil's NL Championship season of 1993. And maybe Pluto did like to drink a little. Well, so goddamn it did Babe Ruth and Winston Churchill and those two guys hit for over 700 combined home runs in their career. A Garrison salute to Pete and Kivilia. He makes John Goodman say, Jesus, that guy needs to take better care of himself. Fig Newtons, we eat sports talk, never be. When I think of a kindly old man who I just want to hug and kiss and hug some more, first name that pops up every time is Bud Collins, baby. Looking like a cross between Bilbo Baggins and Betty White, Mr. Collins has been the toast of tennis for over four decades. Sure, he might not be able to remember the names of the players anymore, or for that matter, where he parked at the stadium. But the man is 77 years, for crying out loud. Can't one of you Federers give him a ride home? Just make sure when you do, you have a baby seat in the car, as Mr. Collins is only 33 inches in height. Women fall down, sports talk never frown. Now for special Irish correspondent Shane Chanderson to give the local results from the hurling league. Shane! Hello, I'm Shane Chanderson for this week's Pissed Hurling Scores. Give me a drink! Nobody can catch a leprechaun. Wicklow choked on Celi, 7-2 to 6-14, with Wicklow goalie passing out from Dewars at the end of regulation. Give me a drink. Nobody can catch a leprechaun. It was the Tipperary squad taking down Sligo, 33 to 12, with Sligo captain Paddy O'Paddy getting ejected for vomiting on the Tipperary coach. Give me a drink. Nobody can catch a leprechaun. And Lipper cut down Cavan by the score, 144 to 13, 3 2, with Sean Shalali Kavanagh throwing an empty bottle of bottle. Jameson's at the goalie for two points. Give me a drink. Nobody can catch a leprechaun. Thank you, Shane, very much. Shyrix throw the darts. Sky talk to sports. Time now for guys in triple play, triple question A. Third, does anyone else think Jim Katie's creepy hair makes him look like a predator? Over to second, and not a predator of children, and on to first, but of senior citizens. And that's your guys in triple play, triple question A. Piggy go on, sports bad fucking boy. Can someone please explain to me what the hell Nancy Lopez sees in Ray Knight? I understand the man got a lucky World Series MVP, but I also understand that he looks like a fat fraggle. The fact that Miss Lopez, such a golfing icon, is still hitched to a man who was an overweight version of Jim J. Bullock without the talent upsets and confuses me. What, Nancy? Sid Fernandez wasn't available? Donkey Hee Haw Sports Operation Talk It Off! And that's the Sports Editorial for this week. Stay tuned for next, where we talk to Mr. Charisma, Corey Pavin, Mr. Stability, Ron Artest, and Mr. Man, Serena Williams. We talk to sports! That actually made me uh, miss one of Fez's plugs. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. Halfway through, I was like, isn't there a plug I could hear? <laughs> that's mm. guy support, you know. What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> Like, but, like I get winded. Like no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. You really trying to keep this a secret? <laughs> <laughs>